there is a flood of people starting AI automation agencies at the moment. And here are a few things that I'm adding to my agency portfolio as the list of services that we're providing um, to actually increase our revenue per month. And we're actually able to add 20 to $30,000 per month in bottom line revenue to our agency just by offering these services to our clients. If it's your first time seeing my face, I am Hugo. I am 23 years old and I own a six figure per month agency. And last year, uh, back in 2022, I started my first e-com agency and we managed to grow uh, past 1 million in revenue with that agency. Now we've dipped our toes into, you know, digital products, info marketing, and we operate in a couple different industries. So it's super fun to work there and being able to add AI automation as a service on top of this service to our other clients is just so cool because we're then able to you know, position ourselves better. We are a backend agency, so we do handle emails, SMS, copywriting. What we can do right now, since we're offering copywriting, emails, and SMS, I think it makes more sense to add an AI automation service to this agency model, just like Zapier integrations. We could also do sales farming. You know, sales farming is really good and building chatbots for sales farming. But AI automation does not only mean chatbots, guys. We don't have to be building chatbots and AI tools every single day for our clients. We just simply build it once. We either charge a one-off fee or we could also charge a retainer for ongoing management and ongoing implementation of these bots and AI services. Also, just as a side note, on my sales calls, I use Flare.ai as my personal AI assistant which hops on the call with me and you can actually just name it like Hugo's assistant. Your prospect's gonna hop on the call and they're gonna be like, oh, who the hell is Hugo's assistant, right? He, I didn't know he was a big dude. That kind of shifts the control of the call over to you because then that, that just gives them like, oh, the, the sense of mystery behind the sales rep, you know, this Hugo guy. It also takes notes for you, so take notes of the call and you can then read over the notes at the end of the call. So I'm not an affiliate, but that's just something I use for my agency, just in my business to help me with my sales calls. So if you clicked on this video, chances are you want to start your own AI automation agency or you want to look into maybe offering services or upselling your current client with some AI services. And I'm going to be talking about that in this video. All right, so now let's dive into kind of like my thoughts on starting an AI agency and how you guys can actually start your own AI agency right now. So now let's go right through it. So it's a great opportunity for beginners to dive into owning an agency, specifically for people who have maybe limited their you know, their reserves in, let's say, offer angles or outreach angles, you can then start pitching this new angle in your new form of outreach to then start, you know, diving into a different segment of audience for your cold outreach audience, which is really important if you're first starting out for research and development to see what kind of offers stick right now in the AI industry, right? It's easy to learn. Many businesses can just start right away without much capital, without much experience. And it's very hands off. You, you use AI as you know, it's on your team, right? AI is on your team to help you fulfill these services. I mean, you can easily implement this for any business. You can perform outreach by simply creating mock-ups and live chatbots to show your clients. And, you know, it gets them more interested to hop on a call with you because you've taken the time to actually create mock-ups for them. And no, it does not need to be chatbot oriented. It can be, you know, in the form of Google Chrome extensions. It could be in the form of um, automations and you could be you could do so much with AI and it's only the beginning so there's so much that we can you know learn and start implementing right and I want to also talk about SMMA versus AIAA right so SMMA of course is the social media marketing agency AIAA is the AI automation agency which is better I'm getting lots of questions oh hey Hugo should I start an AIA versus an SMMA which one should I start right so to me, I still think SMMA is still goaded because I definitely got my, you know, I got my feet wet with SMMA first. And then right now we're, you know, transitioning into adding some AI services on top of that. But of course, SMMA still is the backbone, is still the spine of, you know, this entire business. If we don't have SMMA, we don't have this. AIA is only good because our main service is good. If you guys are doing outreach and you just, and you don't have an SMMA just yet, and you're just doing, you know, AI automation, don't be scared. You guys can still start doing that. You can still start, you know, doing outreach for your automation agency. But I'm just saying that it's better to have both. Or it's better to have an SMMA and then offer AIAA. But if you want to do the reverse, that's also cool. You guys can go into these businesses using the AI angle and then upsell them SMMA services. Super cool. So my thoughts on the timeline. So back in 2010, it's of course it's Shopify dropshipping, it's SMMA, it's Facebook ads, it's e-commerce affiliate marketing. Back in 2020. You know, that's when really the prime of SMMA really popped off. Many people started doing that. Many people started using TikTok ads and doing TikTok ads, influencer ads and stuff like that. And then 2021 20, to 22 is when we had that Web3 NFT kind of boom, right? We had NFT projects, Twitter marketing agencies, Web3 copywriters. A lot of guys are just hopping on these waves, right? 
2010, SMMA, 2020, TikTok, SMMA, 2021, 22, that's going to be Web3, SMMA. And now 2023 and beyond is going to be AIAA. So that you guys need to be hopping on this train if you guys want to capitalize on it to start your own AI automation agency, right? So the, bringing this back to my point, you don't have to use chatbots. I get lots of questions asking me, hey, Hugo, how do I build a chatbot? I built a couple of chatbots back in the day. Back in 2019, when I was still dropshipping, I was building Facebook chatbots um, to kind of create engagement in ads. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about this before, but it's really cool. Before Facebook banned them, so that's why I started making chatbots, but now we can start doing them again. Just a little bit info about what we, what kind of automations or what kind of services um, we're using in our agency, in our business. We're using Zapier to kind of help us track each time we get a sales call, each time we get a close from a sales team, we get a Zapier integration. Of course, we also have appointment setters and this works in appointment setting Slack as well. You can link Zapier to Slack and whenever you have a call or appointment booked or a deal closed, you can get notified of that. And we're linking Zapier with Active Campaign, which is our email sending software. We store our email list there and then we send emails out on Active Campaign. Right. Also on the Shopify side, on the e-com side of things, we have Shopify. We integrate that with our CRM, whether that may be MailChimp. Um, we also integrate that with SMS and of course, email flows. Right. And of course, the AI bot will allow us to get information from our customers, which then feeds into the CRM. And then we can then create personalized workflows, sequences and automations to then target these customers with their personalized info, which leads to a higher chance of sale. And also AI automation can be applied to the entire sales funnel. So I'm just trying to cover a lot of different businesses. So the first thing is the sales funnel, right? So the first step is, of course, you want to get traffic into your business. So let's say you have a client. Let's say they are a gym or let's say they are a flower shop. They need traffic, right? People need to be aware and they need to enter their buying ecosystem. They don't even need to be buying yet. They just need to enter their ecosystem, right? So you get the traffic and you want to divert that traffic into a sales page or a funnel where then you can then host that chat bot to then start asking questions. And you guys can probably seen before, if you hop on e-com websites, you have chatbots there to help you guide you through the checkout process, ask you questions, ask you tailor-made personalized questions on how they could better offer you different products, cross-sell. It's uh, super powerful. Um, the amount of things and amount of information you can collect on you know, chatbots is just super cool. Then of course you have you know that sales page, that funnel, you have that chatbot or AI pop up on that sales page funnel collect the data, provide a good experience, and then feeds that data into the CRM. And then you're able to use your email flows, email campaigns, and SMS sequences or campaigns that then target your customers. So this will then make you more money and also make your clients more money. In terms of top of funnel, there's so much we could do. Um, you know, we could do, a, we could help with appointment setting, right? We can also help with sales farming, like using sales boss, actually book calls and, and stuff. We're actually actively using this in our agency right now, we work with different teams as well with these companies. We work with their sales teams and their sales teams are using sales farming techniques and also using AI bots to help them do that. Whenever they get a lead, you know, AI will automatically send them a personalized text. And if that uh, gets a response, then you create a call, right? You then book them through the call. You just call them up through their phones and then just book them through there and sign them through the course through there. That's really cool as well. Appointment setting, sales farming, maybe even sales calls, right? You can help them on their sales calls with AI. That's like Next step is, of course, collect customer data. So this is mostly for marketing purposes. Um, using AI chatbots to collect more information, of course, that is uh, another niche of uh, industry you can dive in other than appointment setting and sales farming. Appointment setting, sales farming, sales calls, you're also using chatbots for those, but um, these are just different types of examples you could use a chatbot in one single business. So I hope you enjoyed this video on an update on how I'm implementing AI into my own business and hopefully on how you can start your own AI automation agency as well. If you liked and enjoyed this video, I'll make more AI automation agency videos in the future and drop a like and drop a comment and even consider subscribing.